Well, let's continue on. We have this black space here and this checkerboard pattern and our bunny is still messed up with all these scratchy lines on it. So let's take care of that stuff right now. My layer is still unlocked and I'm going to go over to the toolbox and choose the paint bucket. Second one on the list if it's not, you know, it's the gradient. And right here there's two colored squares here. If I click on it, these two become black and white. And this curvy arrow here, if I turn it, the white's on top. Once again, black and white, white on top. I want the white on top so that I can take the paint bucket and just click here and fill that in with white. Got a little bit of line right there. That's okay. I'll take care of that in just a minute. Click on that. White. Oop, that's still there. Click again. Ooh, things are covering up. I don't think I want to do that. Let's do that a different way later on. It might happen with a different tool or the command I'm going to use right now. The sketchy, scratchy, messy lines. Well, if I go up to the um, image menu and choose, I had to think there for a minute, choose adjustments, levels, up comes this window somewhere on your screen and it is showing you something called a histogram. A histogram is a diagram of how many pixels are in your picture and how they're being used. This slider says how many black pixels are in your picture. This one over here, the white. And this one, the mid-tones, those mid-grays. And there's very little bit of that. But watch with the runny as I move this white slider to the left. <gasps> More white pixels added to the picture until the line. Oh, oh, too far. Guess what this one does? Whoa, yeah, adds more black. And the mid-tones, you can either go blacker or you can go lighter. Now what I want you to do, and it's going to be different for your scan, you can't look at these numbers down here, so I want you to adjust these until you have just a black and white bunny just black line, white around the bunny, white in the bunny, but we don't want to lose any of the line quality. Right now, I don't know if you can see this, you can start to see these little jagged edges. The pixels are starting to show up. So I'm going to play around with that on my version. You take care, care of it on yours. Figure it out on your own. How are you going to get it so you don't have that? And you definitely don't have that. Good luck.